hello hello and welcome to my channel my name is Kat I am the nurse flipper I am a full-time reseller on eBay and today what I want to do is talk to those of you who are new at eBay or maybe you haven't even started or you're looking for a side hustle to make a few hundred or a few thousand extra dollars a month I am going to tell you how to do it from start to end I will point you to some videos I'll tell you how to deal with those spammers that will come up you will have scams contact you I'll tell you how to deal with it I'll tell you how to get rid of them what you need to do and how to build it into a business that makes hundreds or thousands whatever your goal is to pay off debt or pay for some extra Christmas present whatever you want to do with that money I'm gonna tell you how to do it right now All right, so first things first, you need to have an eBay account. If you do not have an eBay account, it is really easy on the front page. It says create account, you will walk through it. I will tell you, they do ask for your banking information. That is how you will pay your fees. It is also how you will get paid. So do not be surprised when they ask for your banking info. They also are going to ask for your social security number because if you earn more than $600 on eBay, they are going to send you a 1099 of income earned. So you need to to know that from the beginning they are going to ask for this information that is not a scam that is part of the process and that is why it is very important I feel to have a second bank account before you start this whole venture it does not need to be a business account just a separate account so you can track if you are purchasing and also keep track of your mileage I use a free app I use mile IQ and that tracks all of my mileage because at the end of the year when it comes tax time you want to be able to say okay yeah I sold $700 on eBay but I spent $300 purchasing items I drove 200 miles you want to have that offset in order to get your actual earned income as low as you can that is the primary purpose and I will tell you the first two years I was building my business up mine was in the negative so I did not owe any taxes so just keep good records keep records of your mileage keep records of what you're buying and a separate bank account will definitely help you do that so that would be my first two steps create your eBay account and if you have an eBay account already from buying on eBay, you do not need to make a new one. And it's actually better because you'll have feedback from having purchased items on eBay. So use that account that you've been using. You just will start selling. And once you've created your account, put in all of your payment information, put in your social, your tax information, then you will want to start listing some people have a 10 item limit when they start some people have 250. i've also heard of some lucky people having a thousand so it really varies i cannot tell you what limit you will have that is determined by ebay and i have no idea how they determine that but if you are one of those unfortunate people that only get 10 items to list you're going to want to pick the items that will sell fast so that opens that slot back up for you to list more and what i mean as far as that you do not have to go buy things to sell on ebay you can sell things from your closet you can sell things from your kitchen your kids old items you can sell pretty much anything on ebay so in order to know how fast that item is going to sell what you're going to want to do is search for that item do not put in too many words because then it might be hard to find items like yours if there aren't ones exactly so let's say you want to list a nike gator shirt that is a size large you could put exactly that in the search term nike shirt gators large 
and you will see there are 300 of them listed. What you're going to want to do, there is a filter button. You're going to want to click filter. Sometimes you do have to hit see more if you are on your phone. Scroll down and click and you're going to want to look to completed and sold. And if there are 300 listed, if you are limited to only 10, I would only list it if there are 150 or more sold. So that would be a 50% sell through rate. So what you're doing is looking at how many items are listed, which would be the 300. And then you're looking at how many have sold over the last 90 days. And that would be 150. So 50% of those that have been listed have sold over the last 90 days. That is something that is very, very important to keep in mind with everything that you are listing, especially if you are limited on how many you can post. Because if you're listing items that there are 300 listed and only 20 sold, that item could take a year or two to sell. So you wanna pay very, very close attention to that sell-through rate. Ideally, you want to see more sold than are listed that means it would sell very very fast however those items are a little bit harder to find unless you're doing very popular video games or vintage t-shirts or electronics so if you have just regular stuff you probably are not going to have that many that have more sold than are listed if you are lucky enough to expect that item to sell fast now when it comes to the posting, I do have a few videos on how to actually do your posting, take your picture, post it online. I have videos on the shipping, so I'm not going to get into those in detail because that would make this video a little too long. My main thing is letting you know that you can easily, with, with work, it is not hard work, but it is a lot of work. You can earn money to pay for those Christmas gifts, to pay off debt, to do whatever you want. Maybe you want to take a vacation. It definitely is possible through selling on eBay. So now that you've got your item, you look up to see the sell through rate. You're going to take photos of it and you're going to post it online. Now with eBay, one of the biggest things is they like to see activity. So be ready to post daily or at least three times a week once you start. Because the more activity that you put into your eBay, the more sales that you are going to get. And if you're limited to 10, you might only be able to post one every three days because 10 is your monthly limit. If that is the case, I am so sorry. Hopefully you will have at least 250, which would mean you could post five items every single day and show that activity and eBay will like that and that will help you to get your items higher up in the search algorithm and make more sales. So be prepared to put pretty much daily work into it and just remember the more work you put into it, the more that you are going to get out of it. Now, once you have done your postings, if you do not have much feedback, scammers are very, very prevalent. And I will tell you a few things to look for and then I will tell you what to do if you encounter these scammers. So one of the biggest signs of a scammer is going to be they are going to offer you more for your item than what you are asking. That is a dead giveaway that it is a scammer because a regular buyer is not going to offer more than your asking price. So if you see somebody offering more than your asking price, I would recommend that you decline that offer. If they buy it at full price and then message you and say, hey, email me at this name or send me a WhatsApp or send me a text, all of those are indications of a scammer. You do not want to communicate off of eBay in any way, shape, or form. So if somebody is asking you to do that, you can report that message to eBay. So what happens now they've bought your item, you know they're a scammer, what do you do? You do absolutely nothing. You wait for four days because that is how long eBay gives the buyers to pay. And at the end of those four days, you cancel the order 
buyer failed to pay would be your reason. There will be a drop down menu. Cancel it for reason buyer failed to pay and then you will relist your item and you wait. And yes, it sucks, but if you don't have a lot of feedback, it is going to happen. So please ignore all messages to contact a person off of eBay that is definitely a scammer. I also recommend that you list your items as buy it now versus auction because as a new seller, it is really, really hard to determine what is better to list as buy it now and what is better to list on auction. Now, if you are researching your item and you see that almost all of them have sold on auction and you will be able to see when you're looking through, then you might want to consider it. However, I personally do about 99% of my listings as buy it now. The only time that I do an auction is if the item is very rare, very in demand, and I don't have much into it. And I always start the auction at the least amount I am willing to accept. That way, if I only get one bid, then I know that I have gotten what I want. So you've got your items up, you're dealing with these scammers. How do you get rid of those scammers faster? Well, the quick and easy way is to actually go buy cheap items on eBay. If you go buy some pens or paper, stuff that's two or three dollars, then that will build up your feedback because the scammers don't look at whether your feedback is from buying or selling. So if you go and buy a bunch of stuff and get that feedback, soon as you hit around the 20 to 30 feedback mark those scammers will go away so there is an end to that don't think they will never go away they will i promise you you will get real buyers just push through that initial kind of pain in the butt stage and you will you will have real buyers and the more you list the more you will sell now every 30 days you can request an increase from ebay so if you're building up your business you would want to request that and then at some point ebay is going to automatically give you those extra listings i think i can list up to ten thousand items maybe even twenty thousand and i haven't asked for an increase in years now if you're wondering as far as how i started i started with only a few hundred dollars and i just listed 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 i did have an account that i did buy on so i luckily did not have to encounter those scammers but i listed five to ten items every day and then at some points i was listing 30 to 50 items a day so it really depends what you want to get out of this business if you want to get a few hundred dollars a month or do you want to get a few thousand i currently make about fifteen thousand dollars a month on ebay it is about nine to twelve thousand dollars in extra income and i was able to quit my nursing job in order to do this so it is completely possible to do it you don't need a youtube channel you don't need social media i probably would make more on ebay if i did not have this youtube channel because it takes away time from my ebay business that if i were putting into it my revenue would increase and i did sell about a hundred thousand the year before i actually started my youtube all right so now you've sold the item now you have to ship it. Shipping is one of, if not the hardest aspects of selling on eBay to figure out. I have several videos on how to ship. I also offer master classes that are kind of more one-on-one, -on -one, going a little more into detail. They are available on my big cartel site. I will, I will pop it up there. I have uh, master classes on shipping, on photography, on listing on multiple platforms. Those just go into a little more detail, but I also have multiple free videos on shipping. If you search for the Nurse Flipper Ship, you will find multiple free videos I have done over the years on how to ship. So of course you wanna make sure you have your supplies, you wanna have some boxes. If you're selling 
fragile items you want to have some bubble wrap maybe some packing peanuts some paper and if you're selling clothing you would want to have some poly bags to ship them in so at first you can order in small quantities until you see how it's going to go and then if you see that it's building up you could buy in bigger quantities you can buy on amazon if you do prime where they're there in two to three days you can also purchase boxes off ebay you can get them for free either dumpster diving or let your friends and family know hey i'm selling online i'm gonna need some boxes keep the boxes that come to you i have a pile of amazon and ebay boxes that i keep to reuse so you will want to know the weight of your item plus that and that will go into the listing part so you will want to have a scale that is one of the most important things to have you can set a box and your item on it you don't need to totally package it up and i would suggest starting an inventory system from the beginning at the bottom of your item specifics there is an area called custom skew that your buyers cannot see so you could put on a shelf in the kitchen you could put in tote a and tote b on on the wall sometimes i put my art on the wall you can put wherever it is you want to make sure that you are able to find that item and i do want to say if you cannot find the item it is extremely important on ebay that you do not cancel the item for a reason that you cannot find it go try and find that item from another seller and then you just change the shipping address to your buyer's address or contact the buyer tell them hey i'm sorry i lost this is there anything else in my store i could send in place if they say no just refund me i cancel it for a reason the buyer asked because the buyer told me no there's nothing else they want go ahead and cancel it if you cancel it for item lost you can put yourself into a below standard seller on ebay and that is something you really really do not want to happen so after you ship your item some people will try and pull a fast one on you they will try and you know get a partial refund tell you something's not working i personally unless i know it was my fault i do not accept any partial refunds i don't give out partial refunds because a lot of people are just trying to get that little bit of extra money back so what i suggest you do tell them to return the item there are going to be returns in this business it is just part of doing the business take them get the item back relist it and move on and just know that that is a very very small portion and it's really hard because when you're brand new that one return is a big part of your business that you were doing but as you grow it will become fewer and fewer just to give you an idea i have about 1100 sold in the last 90 days and i have four returns open so that is less than one percent so in the, in the grand scheme of things it is not a ton of them so once you have started this just keep building it i have built mine into two hundred and fifty thousand dollars in inventory in about three years but know that it does take time it is going to take patience and it's going to take a lot of work you're going to have to put work into it every day or maybe four to five days a week in order to grow it and one of the easiest ways to hit your goal is let's say you want three thousand dollars a month so you want a hundred dollars a day in sales then i recommend you list one hundred dollars a day worth of merchandise so you cannot expect to get a hundred dollars a day in sales if you're not listing a hundred dollars a day in inventory because even if you hit that hundred and you're not replenishing it it's not going to be sustainable so just make sure to remember that and feedback will grow the business will grow it it does seem scary at first but i promise you you can do it i have a tips and tricks playlist with all kinds of info on how to list faster how to photograph better how to do your shipping so go and check that out i appreciate you watching good luck in your venture i know you can do it don't forget everybody i will be live tomorrow night with some jewelry on whatnot whether it's for yourself for christmas gifts or to resell there are some really great pieces i'm gonna have antique and vintage cameos as well as some amazing amber pieces those of you that missed that first batch of amber i have some new amber in including butterscotch amber as well as a lot of sterling silver 
absolutely beautiful ring. So come Christmas shop, shop for yourself. I'm going to give you a special preview of what will be on Whatnot right now. And immediately following this, go over to my other channel, Catch Treasure Hunting. Come and see what we found at yard sales yesterday. I look forward to seeing you over on the other channel. Let's go ahead and look at what will be on Whatnot now. All right, here is your sneak peek for tomorrow at 2 p.m. Look at all of these beautiful vintage and antique cameos. There are some brooches, there are some pendants, there are some great, great pieces. We also will have these, some bracelets, sterling. Look at these amber big pendants, as well as some amber and sterling bracelets. These are really nice amber art pieces. All of this will be available tomorrow at 2 p.m. I have an amazing fetish necklace and earring set with turquoise base beads, which you don't see often. Look at these nice amber necklaces some really great ones look at this turquoise owl artisan carved bracelet some more cameo necklaces as well as all of these rings most of these are sterling look at this amber look at it next to my finger authentic amber and sterling ring some other beautiful beautiful sterling rings in here as well all of this is going to be available mm -hmm. tomorrow afternoon 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Whatnot. So come see me, do some shopping, hang out with friends, and I will see you on Whatnot tomorrow at 2 p.m. Now go over to Cat's Treasure Hunting Channel and let's watch some yard sales. <laughs> 